All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. In this one, I wanted to talk about a rumor that surfaced literally two minutes ago here. And funny enough, I just posted a video about Trevon Walker, the edge rusher from Georgia. But look, Jordan Schultz is reporting that the Jets, along with a couple other teams, Dallas Cowboys, Green Bay Packers, a few other teams mentioned, the Jets have called and inquired about wide receiver Brandon Cooks from the Houston Texans. I want to say about a month ago, we actually did a video talking about a potential Brandon Cooks trade. And as we all know, he is a $16.2 million cap hit this season. And then, of course, he's a free agent next offseason. So you're looking at Brandon Cooks, 28 years old. I mean, this is a guy, much like Tyron Matthew, you just feel like he's been around for like 10, 15 years. But, but in actuality, he hasn't. He's only 28. He is produced with tons of different offenses, tons of different quarterbacks tons of different teams i mean six years six years of a thousand plus yards and what's crazy about the entire brandon cooks situation right when we're taking a look at his at his career from a macro perspective 2021 was incredible he played in 16 games had 90 receptions which by the way was a career high he had over a thousand receiving yards with six touchdowns he did all of this with Tyrod Taylor and Davis Mills. It's not a shot at Davis Mills. I really, really like what Davis Mills put together at the at, at the uh, at the tail end of last season. I mean, he was doing some awesome, awesome things. Throwing for tons of yards, throwing for multiple touchdowns. Davis Mills was holding it down in a very chaotic situation. He still had the whole Deshaun Watson situation going on. David Cauley ended up getting fired. But with that said, he was still a rookie quarterback, okay? He wasn't Tom Brady, Josh Allen. Pat Mahomes, Justin Herbert, Aaron Rodgers. He wasn't. He was a rookie QB. Okay, and to see Brandon Cooks, to see those numbers, and to look at the entire Texans uh, situation with the unproven coaching staff, with, again, the rookie quarterback uh, out there for the majority of the time, not that much help around, and, uh, around Cooks. So defensive coordinators kind of have to focus on Brandon, make sure he's accounted for. No real options outside of Cooks, although I did like Nico Collins. It's it was impressive. OK, he proved me wrong. I, I thought Brandon Cook's numbers were going to go down. Uh, you know, I just remember doing like fantasy drafts and whatnot and, and me kind of looking at Cook's saying, you know what? I think I might pass. Proved me wrong. Right. He shut a lot of people up. And I, I think that shouldn't be swept under the rug. It needs to be talked about. Here's the deal. Brandon Cook's is expensive. He, he's not on a long term extension. The rumored asking price is a second round pick, okay? And, uh, you know, that was actually reported a couple days ago. And I got to be honest with you, I'm not doing it. I I'm not trading away a second round pick for Brandon Cooks. I, I love the production. I love the age. I, I love the skill set, what he would bring, what he would infuse to this Jets lineup. We uh, finally, we would have a consistent deep threat. We would have a guy that could win on the outside. Uh, we would have a guy that... Uh, meshes well with Zach Wilson's skill set uh, as far as, you know, Wilson's arm strength, the ability to push the ball down the field, and Cooks being able to run underneath the football 40, 50, 60 yards down the field and make plays. This is a guy who has played with a lot of really, really good quarterbacks, so he knows what one looks like. Uh, and at this point, again, I know he's only 28 years old here, but he's a veteran in this league. He has seen a lot of football, even though all of those things continue to add on, continue to stack up. I'm not trading away 35 or 38. I think a fair trade package is a fourth round pick. I, I do. I, I think a fourth round is fair. You know, this guy is not under contract for years and years and years. Uh, he is a pretty big cap hit. Uh, let's not pretend that it isn't. Uh, of course, you know, you, you look at the market, Tyreek Hill, Devontae Adams, Stephon Diggs just got paid. You know, the wide receiver number is continually going up. What's happening with AJ Brown, DK Metcalf, um, you know, Debo Samuel, like all of these different uh, Terry McLaurin. We have all these younger wide receivers. They're probably going to be getting similar style of uh, similar similar style of contracts, where it's upwards of twenty million dollars annually. Okay, so you can make an argument that Brandon Cooks is actually a bargain for sixteen mil, but it doesn't change the fact that sixteen million dollars is sixteen million dollars. Unless Houston wants to eat some of it, right? I would be fine trading away maybe a third round pick to Houston in exchange for Cooks if they eat maybe 60, 70% of that deal, you know, I, I would consider it then, but I, I do believe a second round pick is, it's, it's too high. It's too high for Brandon Cooks at this point. So a fourth round pick, sign me up, I'm doing it, right? If that's what it takes right now, 
I would I would pull that trade off today. A third round pick again, I would go back and forth, with, uh, uh, go back and forth, uh, forth with the money. But uh, I, I think for me, I really really like Cooks. I think he would be a huge huge benefit for this Jets offense, just not for a second round pick. Anyway, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Should the Jets pursue Cooks heavily? Should we be really interested in Brandon, or should we just stand pat and look to the draft? Drake London, Jameson Williams. Garrett Wilson, Traylon Burks, Chris Olave, Pickens. I mean, the list goes on. There's so many good receivers. Uh, it's go going to be so much fun. So, so exciting this upcoming draft at the wide receiver position. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. And as always, go Jets.